Let's take a look at quickly joining and closing vectors that are open. Here you can see that I've got two lines and obviously they are not closed, but I want them to be closed. So a quick way to do this is if I select both of them and then select here, I can choose to join with a line, a curve, or I can move the ends. So if I join with a line, you can see that it basically creates a line between the two. I can join with a curve and it creates a rounded corner. Or I can move the endpoints. Now I wouldn't normally do this because it actually changes the shape. So it moves the endpoints into each other. So if I were to just join this up using a line, as soon as I do that, you can see that the icon below it becomes active. So if I do that again, so you can see it, join with a line, and then the icon below becomes active. Now that's to close with a line. So because there's only one end open, I can now close with a line. Or I can do exactly the same thing, close with a curve or move the end points. So if I close with a line, it closes the vector up for me. So something a little bit more complex now. So I've got this eagle and I know that I've got certain areas that are not closed, they're open. When I go to machine this, I'm going to have problems. So a quick way to do this is to select all of the vectors. And you can see here that I get the option to close the vector with a line. Now I know that this isn't going to work because I know that I've got two ends that are open. So if you get this pop up, keep an eye on the screen and when I select it, you can see it's created this line. So if I zoom in here and then let's undo it, you can see what's happening is it's created a line from here to here and there to there, and that's not what I want. So what I need to do is deselect everything, select just those two lines, and then it will give me both of the options. Now, if I choose to close the vector with a line, it will give me exactly the same thing. It will go to the wrong places because it's going from the start to the start. So that's wrong, I don't want to do that. So let's undo that. What I need to do is select this one first to join the vectors with a line. That will then join this end up and then I can close it with a line and that will join that end up. Then if I try to machine that, it will work. Now another useful thing that you can use this for is to actually fix problems within vectors. So this text that I have here, I know that I have some problems with it. So I'm going to open up the vector doctor, click identify, and you can see that I've got a problem here. So what I'm going to do is go to node editing and the side of this looks pretty bad to be honest anyway. So what I'm going to do is make this look a little bit better. So I'm going to cut there and I'm going to cut there. Now I'm just pressing C on the keyboard. And you can see that I've got this like little bit of a jaggedness there and a little bit here, it's not very good. So I'm going to try and fix this. So if I just ungroup all of this, first of all, and select there. Now, if I tried to do that whilst it was grouped, it wouldn't work. So if I select there and then close with a line, it just joins that up. It saves me having to do it. And I could do this with all of the text. So let's say here, I want to get rid of that kink. So let's cut there and let's cut there. Delete that, select that, and then join with a line or close with a line. Now for curved ones like this, this A, what I can do is node edit that, and what I'm going to do is maybe cut there, cut there, and delete that, 
And then what I'm going to do is rather than do a line, I'm going to do a curve. And then I can do the same here. Maybe let's zoom in. Let's cut there and maybe cut there. And then again with a curve and it sorts it out a bit better. Again with the M here, let's maybe cut there. Now, if you get bits that don't match up like that, to be completely honest, I would just delete that. You can join it up, but I'm just going to delete it. And then I can do that. Okay, so that's how you fix things by using the close and the join with a line or a curve or moving the ends.